Throwing into the river. Who's throwing that rock in the river? These days, the house Show has man. reached some international acclaim by featuring in National Geographic, as well Ooh. because it's become something of a symbol of the popular Drina regatta, which passes it. Hey, yo, what's up? It's your boy, Odyssey. Oh, yeah. Sorry. It's been. <laughs> It's your boy Odyssey, and I'm reacting to the most isolated homes in the world. You know that we're all in isolation right now, especially me and like 90% of the population. The other 10% are divided into 5% jackasses and 5% people I don't give a fuck. Those are that's a 10% that's not isolating. And also there's those people that are going to work. They're like 1% going to work. They're um hustling doing stuff like that those are like one percent those are like parents and stuff like that you know but the rest jackasses and i don't care those are the people that are there anyways let's get into the video <sighs> most isolated homes in the world where do you go when you really, really want to be alone the countryside the ocean where do i go when i really want to be alone my room Let's get it. If I really want to be alone, the w the way it's snowing right now, I just walk outside and in the night, or like I'll go to the beach and I'll just, let me see the beach. I'll go to like the creek that's up there and just sit by myself. There's nothing really around Some my area people take like that. the concept of isolation to a real extreme, okay. placing it at the heart of their living situation. So where and what Yo, look, are the most isolated homes? In I'm so happy I live in Ottawa, in the city. I, if, if I was by myself, but I'm with my family right now, if I was by myself, I could never live in like an isolated forest place with my nigga. I know either I'm getting murdered or I'm going to have some nightmares and I'm not going to sleep again. You know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't do shit like that. In the world, allow us to take no you through 10 examples that really stand out alone. First up, how about living on top of a rock tower, 40 meters above your surroundings? The Kutsky Pillar in Georgia, that the looks sick. Soviet country, not the state, oh. features a 150 oh. square meter church on its peak. Oh, that looks like so it can fall any time, bro. Look at the base. Roughly the 9th to the 13th century, the church it looks remained sick, largely unvisited, and the pillar unclimbed for an unknown period until the. Does it have like a rope or a ladder or stairs? The home of monks. The structure was restored between 2005 and 2009 oh, it does. And then it has a, zip a piece line. of Georgian heritage. And briefly, public access was allowed via an iron ladder. Now, it's the sole home to an Orthodox church monk called Maxime Kaftaradze, who has lived at the top since 1993. That looks creepy After searching out a change in his life after issues with drugs and a period in prison, Maxime comes you. down twice a week and is key to a documentary about the spot upon this rock filmed in 2013. His main company at the top is a crypt and a wine cellar. Even the base of the tower is difficult to reach, with the nearby village of Kutsky outside of old Georgia's main transport Jeez. hub. That looks beautiful, though. How about a remote house An on island? an isolated Icelandic island? Despite its growing tourist Whoa. appeal, Iceland... How about a remote house on an isolated... Wait. Icelandic isolated island? Jeez! is already a sparsely populated spot and Elidai, one of the best oh, Mayaya islands off the country's south Look, coast, everybody lives here and then the he just lives in that corner there where nobody... A single oh, white shit. cabin perched on the jaunty angle of the island slopes I mean, I can live there because it's like clear, it's just clear greenery fishing, If it was a forest, nah, cattle. my nigga In the 1930s though, Never the family the abandoned their home Since then, the house has been rumoured to be owned by either an eccentric billionaire or Icelandic artist Björk In fact, it's simply a hunting cabin complete with a sauna used by a local hunting group that uses the island to hunt puffins. Not a place we'd like to be during a long storm. Yeah, there's no protection though. 
A totally different kind of oh, isolated shit. island house exists in, oh my gosh. in the middle of the dream. This looks like a turtle. It's only propped on a rock in the middle of the land. That's a house. By in Abashta in the west of the country. The house was originally built as a swimming shelter in 1968 and has been rebuilt seven times um, since. If a the massive wave just comes, that whole house is getting flooded. in 2011. <laughs> Local legend says the particular rock the house occupies was thrown into the river by a medieval hero to help his horse cross. Throwing into days, the river. The Who's throwing that rock in the river? Claim Sorry, by featuring in National Geographic, as well because it's become something of a symbol of Ooh. the popular Drina Regatta, which passes it on the river annually. While no one has ever lived in the house, it's a famed romantic getaway in Serbia, I can do this, I accessible bro. only by boat or through swimming, and has some strange backstories, <laughs> not least that on more than one occasion, it was washed Look. away in one piece and pulled back to the rock from oh, tens damn. of kilometers away by kayak. So it was washed away and then it got pulled back to the same room. That's that's not safe, bro. If a massive wave comes, it's getting mm, clotted. Mm, clotted. Huh? <laughs> I must be in, baby. Just enough. Another room. tiny island that is actually inhabited is just room enough island. Why are you guys doing this in, in the Lawrence middle River, of a York, freaking the river? Canadian border. The literally named spot is said to be the smallest inhabited island in the world and has a house, a tiny garden, and a beach with its 310 square meters. About the size why? of a tennis court. Just why? The Sizeland family if built a, a house in the if 50s. A, if as this a wants the flood, getaway, there's nothing stopping it. Not to be that private, as its quirkiness immediately attracted attention from both the press and interested tourists the home is just 500 feet away from bolt castle a famed storybook mansion which is now a popular wedding Jeez. venue not much is known about imagine the having itself, that and living by yourself in that castle occupies almost the entire island it's perched on and looks just about big enough to be comfortable what Super about a whole village. isolated village? village. Supply village in the Grand Canyon also... with a population of just over 200. I didn't know there was a village in the, in the Grand Canyon. Post oh. is still delivered no, no, no. by mules. No, 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 no. I knew that. I knew that. I knew that. It's accessible only through a grueling a walk show. on foot, by mule, or by helicopter. Jeez. The Havasupai tribe Native Americans have lived on the land since the 1300s. Today, it features a lodge and a convenience store. Hey, as well there goes. As a small they're, they're evolving. It's mainly made up of small houses nestled into the plains again. Evolution. The faint red rock background of the canyon. That Despite looks cool. its isolation, the Arizona village is a tourist draw, in particular for the picturesque Havasu Creek Jeez. and still more isolated waterfalls such as Mooney Falls. Unless Mooney you take the Falls. helicopter option, it's a rural beauty that you earn. It probably won't surprise you to learn one of our isolated spots is in Antarctica. Oh. The Chilean Antarctica base of Villa Las Estrellas. Oh. I like is a cold places, so I can live in Antarctica. 80 in winter and 150 <laughs> in summer, with the whole community living in 14 nah, 90 square meter houses. I don't know, maybe. There are roughly 15 children living there, and so a school is provided, as well as a hospital, children. library, souvenir shop, gym, and tower. Hey, gym. Phone service. The Man temperature be like though, going... regularly drops to below 10 Fahrenheit or minus 10 centigrade. And getting Man in and out gym. isn't easy, with no regular scheduled flights at all. The surrounding landmass is nothing short of monstrous, nearly half a million Jeez. square miles, and the only other occupants are military. The Jeez. tiny post office shack, white chapel, and there. fantastic views across the frozen bay are the main attractions in this exceptionally rural, snowy corner, Jeez. which is primarily used as a research centre and run as a commune. The, Nordic the Danish administered Faroe Islands to the north of Scotland are also known for their rugged beauty as well as dramatic cliff sites. The Nordic Jeez. House is a cultural Ooh. hub of the island. Looks dating cool. Back Looks like a freaking greenhouse for plants. Plenty of elements of Faroe it does look cool design. though. Those traditional elements include a grass roof, a lot of light, and the structure focusing heavily on natural materials. Got camouflage. The Nordic House has become a heartland for Jeez. conferences and literary events despite initial skepticism on the island. Koshan itself is perhaps the most isolated European capital with a population of 13,000 and relatively scant transport links. Jeez. It's out of the way location 13, and inviting yet unfamiliar culture is making it increasingly popular as a left field tourist destination. Scotland seems like a dope place though. At the other end of Europe, the unusual Casa de Penedo in North Portugal. Portugal is built propped up between four boulders, which forms its walls, foundation, and parts of its roof, creating an effect like something from the Flintstones, Flintstones fused Jeez. with a typical rural cottage. The structure is a what in the prehistoric times is this? Close to a wind farm, but offers that throwback type of experience. Oh, jeez, it looks cozy the the owners are and nice inside. The experience side of things these days. Nah, that can't, that can't be comfortable. Did you see the stone couch? That can't be comfortable. 
it comes from an Aboriginal saying of white man's holes. Dug out of the rock, then in houses why? due to the harsh desert temperatures, <laughs> which sometimes top 105 Fahrenheit or 40 why? Celsius in summer. Why? While tourism why? has also why? grown here, why? the isolated location <laughs> is a serious factor in life in Cuba PD. The local train station, 26 miles away, has trains going once weekly in either direction. Onwards, transport from the station must be confirmed in advance, as the station is out in the desert and oh, being shit. stuck so there is potentially if they don't, very dangerous. If they don't communicate so in advance, so they would still be able to stay stop. Though, the though, wouldn't they? If you do make it to the town, though, you can explore the cave based motels, Jeez, churches, it looks underground jewelry shop, dull. and mind melting temperatures. It looks kind of cozy, though. Location, it looks really cozy. Though. Of a massive land mass. This is a, a house in the middle of a Finally, freaking a little um, bit of fantasy mountain. With an isolated place fantasy. That doesn't actually exist no, it doesn't exist. I was like, yet. The incredible yet. concept of the Jeez. cliff house. I would never live there. In Victoria, Australia, looking I'm, to I'm make dead ass. Their land look, well, less than entirely stable. The cliff house concept is a prefabricated house. It's a concept, but I would never live there, bro. Because any time if there's a landslide the or there's like an earthquake or some shit like that, you can go from you going off that cliff, bro. Inside our living spaces, What's under it? A garage, is it? Three bedrooms, and on the lowest floor, below which lies a large drop off. A garage. Also called a living space or a living room, bedroom, bathroom, a drop off. Is this the kitchen? Off a spa room. The whole spa thing room. is vertically connected by elevators oh. and is intended to imitate a barnacle, though hopefully with a substantially stronger attachment to its cliffside resting place. Should it be built, you'd have to take a look. But we can't say we'd feel safe in such a precarious, I would never, but serene never. and breathtaking home. Fam, look Do these at that. places it appeal to your love of nature or sense of wonder? Which of these yeah. houses would most would satisfy your desire? Bro, I like space? cold places. Let us know bro. In the I like snow. But like. If I was to live in any one of those, which one would I do? To be honest, I would I would prefer to live in that, the boulder house, those stone houses. It had a pool, it had a really cozy ass bedroom and living room. So the only thing that I don't like is the stone couch. Ah, oh, fine, that doesn't look comfortable, bro. That's all, but yeah. If you were to pick any one of these houses, which one would you live in? I don't really, only the boulder house, that's all. Anyways, it's been your boy Odyssey. I'll see you guys tomorrow. No, tomorrow I have somewhere to go. The day after. Or maybe tomorrow, bro. I'm, I don't know. Namaste.